Speak Student. Animal Farm 1.8. Stop stalling already. Alashma. The swine in Animal Farm seem to take after the three little pigs. Napoleon's the one who built his political house out of brick, and he's the last pig standing. Well, who came up with this wacky equality idea in the first place? Old Major. He's the great thinker who dreamed the impossible dream and rallied his comrades to revolt. Then he died just before the action started. Sounds a lot like Karl Marx. Just like Old Major's speech sparked the animals to rebel, Marx's communist manifesto started a movement. But neither Major nor Marx stuck around to guide the revolution. It would soon be as dead as they were. Old Major may be small in the grand scheme of things, but he sure started something. Like a magic bean, he planted hope for a better life and it grew into a giant problem. Old Major was an idealist who discounted the allure of power and wealth. But pigs like shiny things. And bling is, you know, hard to resist. Well, Major and Marx were all about the why for revolution and forgot about the how. As in, how the heck are we supposed to run things after we overthrow everything we know in life? Well, Napoleon, who is so obviously Stalin that he practically has a bushy mustache, sees this as a gaping hole of opportunity and gradually fills it uh, with himself. He's the pig whose brick house of political intrigue and terror withstood all challenges and doubts. It probably helped that it was guarded on all sides by his loyal hench dogs. They were all about their studded collars. And their job description? Tear out throats of the enemy on command. Well, like Stalin, Napoleon had a foolproof management style. Lie to everybody, steal whatever you want, kill whoever disagrees with you, control by terror. Well, it might sound crazy to you, but to his loyal supporters, that worked. Well, how is that even possible? Well, hey, put lipstick on a pig and the crowd thinks it's a prettier pig. <laughs> and add Photoshop and voila, he's a star with a fan club. Or Miss Piggy, hard to tell. All right, well, too bad about the third little pig, Snowball. Just like Trotsky, the champion of the Russian Revolution, with all his brilliance and genuine concern for the public, he could have been a true star. And Napoleon wasn't taking any chances, so Snowball had to go. This is where the terror and the hench dogs come in. Snowball was a nice guy, and we all know where they finish. That's right, last. Snowball had a straw house. It left him exposed and vulnerable to the big bad wolf. And although the dogs didn't rip out Snowball's throat, well, his counterpart, Trotsky, wasn't so lucky. He was assassinated in Mexico with an ice pick. Now that's cold.